Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster, and this is the last space that we're going to be looking at in the Ultimate Stingray Mod Guide. We're going to be checking out a Sterling SUB equipped with a Tone Monster pickup and preamp. Let's check this thing out. This is a Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV equipped with a Tone Monster TM MM4 pickup as well as an SBK 3AD 3 band preamp. Now I'm just going to lead with the price here because that's the most impressive thing. This combo together, 3 band preamp, variable mid sweep, $110. Yes, El Nico pickup. 3 band preamp, variable mid sweep, $110. That's almost as much as most of the pickups here that you see. Uh, and that's just for the pickup. And you're getting both an Alnico pickup as well as a 3 band preamp with a mid sweep. So, wow. Yeah. Now, Tone Monster isn't a big name brand, it's out of the Guitar Fuel Shop, which is based in Pennsylvania. Johnny Long raves about them and their preamps, and he loves to throw them in all sorts of bases. I've personally never really tested one out, and I thought, why not throw it in a Stingray? Now originally I thought Tone Monster only made preamps, however they're getting into the pickup game, and they offer Stingray pickups as well as Jazz and Precision pickups. So let's just go over everything one more time. You have an Alnico pickup, volume control, a mid control with a mid sweep, and a bass and treble stack. No push pulls, what you see is what you get, but all of this is $110. The installation process was extremely painless. However, it does come with a blend knob. Given that this is a one pickup bass, you do not need the blend knob. So all you need to do is snip it off, kind of in the middle, and wire your pickup straight to those wires. It's a fairly straightforward procedure. However, I probably wouldn't recommend it for a beginner. Overall though, the installation process for this preamp was very easy. No modifications were required for the control cavity. Just popped right into the control plate and then right into the control cavity, no problems. So far, at least on paper, this is looking like a great combination. Let's see what it sounds like. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Okay, for 110 bucks, that sounds really, really good. Not bad at all. So that is with everything centered. Now, one thing I did notice is that the mid sweep, which generally doesn't have an effect when the mids are centered, actually does something here. Listen to this. going to go ahead and keep that centered for the time being and play around with that a bit more when we dive into the mid control. First, let's listen to everything centered one more time. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Not bad. So this is the bass, mid, and treble at full cut with the mid frequency selector in the center where it was before. <laughs> Not 
not bad, but it doesn't really sound like they cut anything. Yeah, that's full cut. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this bass and treble stack. Here's the bass, centered, with everything else full cut. Here's the bass at full boost. Okay, there's a, there's some meat there. Interesting, okay. Let's go ahead and cut that now and bring the treble up to center. Pretty good, pretty good. Now let's go ahead and bring the treble up to 50% right there. Don't get me wrong, this preamp is doing something. It's just extremely subtle. It seems that the boosts and cuts here are relatively small compared to some of the other preamps that we're looking at. That being said, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Now let's cut the bass and the treble entirely and bring the mids up to center. <laughs> Bad. And here's the mids at full boost, why not? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and bring everything back to center now. I don't know what to think about this. Now I know you guys are wondering, how does she slap? <laughs> And finally, let's see what this sounds like with some drums behind it.
<laughs> Here are my final thoughts on the Tone Monster combo. That's the TM MM4 pickup as well as the SBK 3AD preamp. That's a three band preamp with a variable mid sweep. For 110 bucks altogether, wow. You can't really do any better than that. However, I was kind of let down by the lack of real boost or cut when playing with these preamp controls. The pickup sounds great. This is an excellent pickup. <laughs> the pickup sounds great, and for 50 bucks to get an Alnico pickup like this is a steal. What a bargain, especially when the next cheapest one is the Seymour Duncan, which is nearly twice the price. The preamp at $59 is also a great deal. However, it really doesn't give me the boost or cuts that I really want out of a preamp. Installation wise, it was all very easy to toss in there. I was able to mount everything direct to the control plate. I did have to remove the blend knob because there's only one pickup and I wired the pickup directly to the wires that were coming from the main motherboard thing. It's really awesome that you can get all these features in a preamp that's only 60 bucks. However, the quality of those features is not really up to par with what we're seeing all over here. As a budget upgrade, I'd probably toss this pickup in with the stock SUB preamp. However, I would probably hold off on the preamp, honestly, and save for something a bit better. That being said, there are other models of Tone Monster preamps out there, and I will be checking those out. Perhaps those are a bit better than what I'm looking at right here, but this one isn't really doing much for me. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 SUV equipped with the Tone Monster preamp and pickup. And as always, until we groove again.